To create such dynamic and interesting animations inside of Comfy UI, I will be revealing how to use the combination of the QR code monster along with Animate Diff LCM to generate animated optical illusions. The process can have bad results as I experienced earlier, however, I will demonstrate how to avoid these common mistakes which got me stuck for days until I found out the solutions. And I want to say a huge thank you to Hyrule Concivit AI for guiding me as well as sharing his process with me. You can check out some of his inspiring amazing works on Civit AI and also on Instagram. So let's start by loading the default workflow and then we will modify this using the LCM sampler and the animated diff nodes. I'll replace the K sampler, select and delete the node. Also I will use the VAE from the checkpoint into the VAE node. So I'll double click to search for the sampler custom node which will replace the K sampler. To select and delete the positive as well as the negative prompt to be replaced. Search for the text and code advanced as the replacement. I'll duplicate this to have the positive and the negative nodes. Here the load checkpoint will go into the positive as well as the negative. And I'll reroute the load checkpoint into the sampler custom node. Here the positive will go into the positive, the negative into the negative. So connect the empty latent image, drag the sampler custom node into the VAE decode. To the text prompt node, I'll change this to mean. Also the interpretation will be A1111 similar to the negative text node as well. Now change this to 512 by 896 to have a vertical generation of the animation. I'll right click to put all of this into a group and I'll rename this to text to image. I'll go to the load checkpoint node and change this to dream shaper 8 as our checkpoint model. From here, I'll put in a test prompt uh, just to test out the workflow to see if this is working correctly. So we have this because we are missing a few sampler nodes which are not connected into the sampler custom node. I'll right click, add node, I'll go to the sampling, custom sampling, uh, sampler, and I'll select the sampler LCM cycle. If you don't see these nodes, I have explained in my previous tutorial how to install the extensions. I'll drag this down and connect this into the sampler custom node. For the second node, I'll also right click, add node, sampling, Go to the custom sampling once again but we select the schedulers and now uh, we go for the lcm scheduler let's queue prompt once again to see if we have this working correctly the lcm scheduler needs an input model so we need to connect animate diff to have a video animation of the prompt so to start with the animate diff workflow i'll right click add node go to the animate diff and also gen 2 nodes to select the evolve sampling node the second node will be to add another node back to animate diff extension again gen 2 nodes and we go for the apply animate diff model third node we go back again into the animate diff extension we go to the context option and select the standard uniform under the list now from here we need the last node for animate diff which will be uh, under the gen 2 nodes again and we select the load animate diff model the load animate diff node goes into the apply animate diff model back into the evolve sampling also the standard uniform goes into the evolve sampling node so let's join these two workflows to have an animation from the text prompt uh, first i'll take the model from the checkpoint into the evolve sampling node which now we can input into the lcm scheduler node and I'll delete any unnecessary uh, cables here and reconnect the evolve sampling nodes back into the sampler custom node. Uh, we don't need this as well. Animate diff is connected and now we need to put in the duration of the animation. 16 frames will be okay for now, just for a quick preview. Next, we need a VHS combine, which will be under the VHS video combine. And from here, the VAE decode goes into the video combine to see our final generation. I'll change this to 12 frames for now and also I'll change the video format to H264. Yeah, let's skill prompt and uh, let's see if everything is in order this time around. All right, so um, this is awesome and we have a video animation which means everything is in order. I'll quickly group all of this into animate div to keep the workflow tidy. So next, let's input the right settings uh, for the LCM to improve the results. First, I'll be adding the LoRa node, which will help us to use the LCM LoRa. The load checkpoint goes into the LoRa node, which goes back into the positive prompt and also the negative prompt. Um, I'll reconnect the model back into the LoRa, which now goes back into animate div with the evolve sampling node. 
changed the LoRa to use the Animate LCM model. And I have explained how to get all of these models in the previous tutorial. And also the sampler LCM cycle will be two. I'll change this to fixed and make the seed uh, 10 just to keep track of everything. And scrolling up to the animate diff workflow, i would also change the model here to animate LCM. Next for the evolve sampling, we'll change this to use the LCM and also the LCM scheduler from 8 to 10. Once we have all the settings right for the LCM, next we need the control net workflow. I would right click to add a node, go to the advanced control net and select the apply advanced control net node. Um, I'll drag out to select the control net loader, which will go for the QR monster version 2. If you don't have this model, head to Hugging Face. Uh, under Files and Versions, you see the QR Monster code Safe Transfer version. There is a version one, and also you can go for the V2, which I used uh, as the update, and you can download this and place this into the Control Net folder inside your Comfy UI directory. So the next node will be the Load Video node for Control Net. The QR code needs a black and white map to influence the animation. So I found some of the best optical illusions by going to the page uh, of Motion Array. I'll change the video template to Motion Graphics. Inside the search, I'll also search for optical illusions. We are going to see a whole lot of variations for us to choose from, from HD or 9x16 formats. So I'll choose the black and white star tunnel illusion for us to use as our influence and I'll save this into my directory resize them to the right uh, size of your generation. So I'm using a 512 by uh, 896 for a vertical animation. Once this is done, we upload the video into the workflow. We'll connect this into the apply advanced control net. Change the color to brown. Group this and name this control net. And this is all we need for the control net workflow. Now let's add all the three workflows to generate the animation. I will delete the VAE from the load checkpoint to use um, a VAE node instead. Connect this to the VAE decode node. I'll select the model 840,000. Disconnect the original connection we had. I'll also change the colors here to have green and red for the prompt. And I'll move this a bit closer to the sampler custom node. We need to connect the positive into the positive of the apply advanced control net as well as the negative prompt. Disconnect the model from the sampler custom node and this goes into the apply advanced control net node. Next, everything goes into the sampler custom node from the apply advanced control net. I'll change the frame duration to 100 for the load illusion and also for the latent image space from 16 to 100. And I'll hit Q prompts to see what we have after adding control net to the workflow. You can see the animation is being affected by the QR code similar to the video reference illusion but this is not extremely appealing so I was stuck here for a while and I'll show how to fix this shortly. So first I'll change the frame rates to match the video input and next I'll just rename the final video to what I want and the solution is to lower the control net strength and the weight to 0.5 and also the end percent to 0.5. Let's see the difference by uh, duplicating the video combined node so we can compare uh, the new results to the old one. And let's Q prompt once again and I'm going to skip this to the results. Alright, so we can see uh, the results are honestly visible. The secret is to play around with the control net strength to determine uh, what works best for you. Let's push this further with a different prompt. I'll use a prompt here inspired from Civic AI uh, by this creator. So I'll copy the prompt back to Comfy UI and paste this into my positive prompt. And also I would include a negative prompt as well. I would also load the checkpoint to Hello Young 2D. I still want to lower this so it's not too strong uh, to 0.4 for both the strength and the end percent. Into the sampler custom node, I'll change this to 100C to have something different. And also the CFG will be 1.8 for me. I'll hit Q prompt and let's see what we get by changing our prompt. So I'll skip to the results once again, not to take too much time. And uh, here we go by getting this from the QR code monster. The QR code uh, with Animate Diff is a strong tool for making dynamic animations just from a single prompt. And the addition of the LCM improves it even further. So to recap, we have our easy text to image prompt workflow, uh, which is animated by Animate Diff and then controlled by the black and white illusion we downloaded from Motion Array uh, with the help of QR code monster 
wants that model to influence the generation. And if you guys are having issues with the LCM workflow, make sure you have the correct input models downloaded and selected before your generation. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up as always and I'll see you guys in the next video.